I have an older video that's still relevant about metal foam, but it doesn't actually explain like why metal foam is useful or how to make metal foam. To make metal foam, it's actually really simple. You do need a lot of chemicals, so really this is more of a chemist thing. But you can make these in a way that you can give them to like non-intags, like engineers and stuff could definitely benefit from things like this. Especially if you're a crew during like war ops or during nukies in general. Hell, even during zombies and stuff, it could be really useful to immediately seal off a hallway with a very durable material. It's great for spacing, etc. To make a metal foam mi mixture, it's pretty simple. The first part is just two parts aluminum or uh, iron, I think it is, to lithium and hydrogen, one part lithium and hydrogen. So for example, it would be 10 aluminum and then one part hydrogen, one part lithium. And that will make uh, the foaming agent and you need the aluminum here because that's the metal. You can obviously make this larger to have a bigger spread, but I'm specifically teaching how to use this in a non-intag way to seal holes safer and more efficiently. So we're done with this beaker, that's all you have to do. In the second beaker, we have to make some sulfuric acid, which sulfuric acid is two parts oxygen and one part sulfur and hydrogen. So the two parts oxygen, one part sulfur, and one part hydrogen. So that will make sulfuric acid. We don't need all this sulfuric acid, you're not making more than you actually need. And then now we just need five potassium, one part potassium, one part fluorine and one part hydrogen. This will make fluorosulfuric acid. You can save the sulfuric acid. Uh, actually taking the sulfuric acid out will reduce the amount of damage you end up doing to people if they accidentally ingest it. You can save the sulfuric acid for later. I actually discarded it because I'm great at this game. But all we need is the fluorosulfuric acid in one beaker and the other beaker needs to have foaming agent and the metal either aluminum or iron. So this is really simple now. You can put this in a modular grenade. You can just mix it in the beakers like so. Say just theoretically, you want to seal this entrance off. You could just put one beaker on the floor here, stand away from it because it plumes out in a plus sign, and then just left click it once with a five unit transfer, and it will make a plume of metal foam. And you could definitely you can recover your beaker before it actually solidifies. And once it's done, it makes a foamed aluminum metal. So now we have, uh, if you only use five units, you can save your fluorosulfuric acid and just make extra beakers of the first mixing agent. So you can have multiple beakers of emergency sealant foam, if that makes sense. So really what I'm saying is you just have to have multiple beakers of the aluminum and lithium and hydrogen because that's all that mixes over here. We have the metal and the foaming agent. So if I want to seal off even more i could have had multiple small beakers ready for this multiple grenades and we'll just make another little sealant here it gets a little confusing when um you aren't lining it up perfectly with a tile sometimes it spreads a little inconsistently but that's why i recommend having a lot so we have just basically sealed off this entire area here and this is awesome for non tags engineers chemists trying to help seal holes not the greatest for permanently sealing people off but Having to force people to slow down, seal holes and stuff, very useful, very effective. Thank you guys for watching.